Hi, everybody. Ivor Chester, music therapist, life coach. I uh, posted an article up the thread that I came upon that talked about food and people's eating habits or grocery habits. Have you ever been in a restaurant where you want to have a date or you want to have a family moment or you, you, you want to have just a nice, quiet meal? And when you go in, they're playing music really way too loud and uh, you're having to go, what? And, and you know, you're sitting at one of those cracker small tables, but you go, ha, hey, what? Uh, yeah, I get it, I'm old. But on the other hand, I I'd like to still talk to my spouse or my kids or something. Well, there's a reason they do that. And it's not just so you can listen to their, to their hits. It actually, uh, there actually are a lot of studies that talk about people's food buying habits and the music that's played, and the volume at which it's played. Okay, it goes like this. It regards beats per minute, and it also talks about decibels. If you're listening to, uh, hey Betsy, thanks for turning in. Uh, the idea here is if you're listening to loud music at a restaurant, with uh, you can be by yourself or with somebody, but if you are, uh, if you're eating, they show that your eating habits become less healthy. In other words, if the music's loud, you're listening to a, uh, listening to rock and roll, and the music's loud, you're buying a burger, okay? But if the music's just about ten, uh, ten decibels lower, what happens is that you eat healthier, like a salad. Why is that? Because the anxiety and the, uh, the anxiety of the stress levels go up and we'll eat comfort food, what most people is unhealthy food, and you'll, you'll have this food eating habit that's less healthy. If you go to a grocery store, you notice that they always play healthier, uh, not healthy, they play uh, uh, oldies music generally. I, uh, I go to a, a, a food chain near me. I go to two of them. One's healthy and one's just a standard place. I've noticed that the music that they play at the healthy food chain kind of place is definitely more bohemian. It's kind of like what I would call the coffee shop, uh, the uh, uh, music station that's on Cirrus XM. It's a little bit uh, just not as familiar a music, and it's played kind of soft compared to when I go to just a regular chain that uh, has been around forever and they sell Oh, just about anything. Uh, their music is louder and it makes people buy more impulsively because they're buying out of stress. It also relates to uh, you're not supposed to go shopping on an empty stomach because you'll buy, uh, well, you know, there's a meme that went around that says, I'm now the proud owner of uh, aisle number five. Yeah, that's along those same lines. So again, we're talking about music that happens in the background. It's ambient music, okay? You don't go, gee, I, I think I'll go to health food stores so I can listen to the coffee house music, or gee, I'm gonna go to Kroger and listen to Creedence Clearwater. You don't deliberately go there for the music, but it's there to uh, change your buying habits. Music affects us even when we don't deliberately program it. Remember that, because it's happening at your restaurants, it's happening at grocery stores, it's happening at coffee shops, it's happening at, uh, at places where you don't normally go for the music experience. Now, we all uh, like to have music playing in the background, okay? But uh, when we're eating or when we're having a, an alternate experience, again, like church or if it's a restaurant, if it's groceries, if it's... Uh, you go to the theater and they'll have music playing in the background before the uh, movie starts. And it all has different purposes to it. What I'd like you to do is start becoming aware. Turn your ears on. You're walking through the mall, for those of us who still have malls near us, or you're having a shopping experience at some place, be it a shoe store. Is there music playing? How loud is it? Is it loud enough to where you hear it? Is it over the ambient rumble of just people walking around over their, um, uh, their PA systems and things like that? Is it there to where uh, it's always in the forefront because it's meant to either 
lengthen your shopping experience, increasing your buying habits, or if it's like a fast food restaurant like McDonald's, it's intended to make you turn over and leave quickly so they could have a faster turnover rate to clear the tables, as, as do color schemes they've shown. Be aware of this. Turn your ears on, see what you get, and uh, please put it in the comments down below. Let me know what place you've been to. Today I was at a local restaurant. Uh, this is Sunday, right after church. We went to uh, uh, Ono, uh, China, China Ono, something like that. And it's this big, huge buffet thing. And uh, they had, here it is, this very Chinese-looking Asian place. But no, they had uh, oldies rock and roll playing. And it was fairly loud. Why? They had a limited amount of space and they were turning them over left and right. The idea was to move people in and out, get them through that line, get them to eat at their tables and get them out of there so they could bring in more people. So music brought about a certain response, which is what they wanted. Be aware of that and put your experience down in the, uh, the comment section for me. I'd like to hear it and we'll, we'll discuss it. Until then, have your ears on. I want you to start realizing that music is not just for entertainment. If you think music is just for entertainment, you're really missing easily 90 to 95% of its actual purpose. All right? Though people may create it, the, the producers, the artists may create it just so they could uh, maybe make some cash or just that it's an expressive skill, which is fine. But the music executives, the uh, people who market it, the people who use it even as uh, far level down as restaurants and such have other purposes. Keep that in mind. Let me know what your purpose, your uh, experience is, and we'll be in touch. Remember, I'm Ivor Chester. Please share this uh, with your friends. Let them know what you uh, are hearing, and I'd love to uh, uh, hear your comments. We'll see you. Until next time.